Hey, what's up guys? So, six months ago, to the day of today, uh, November 3rd, I got the news that uh, not a lot of people, you know, want to hear. No one wants to hear, and those are the words, you have cancer. And it was quite a whirlwind of uh, emotions and just you think of the worst case scenario and like you you prepare and you think about your own mortality and it's really messed up and it's like oh my god like why I'm a young man I live relatively right why did this happen and that was six months ago and uh, that day I just decided I'm going to fight this the best that I can with dignity and uh, community and just ask for help and uh, get through it and uh, pursue health in the way that I wanted to seek health and uh, I did and yesterday November 2nd I got the news that the cancer is gone Gandhi's finito it is out of my system I had um, advanced stage cancer and it was in my lungs and uh, that's not good um, and it was looking pretty grim but uh, I feel that I've I, I beat some odds and uh, cancer is non-existent it disappeared it uh, it went away blood work came back yesterday as well and it is that of normal ranges so that's also good, and I could tell on my oncologist's uh, face that there was nothing to be concerned about. And I know enough about it that if it does come back, it's easily dealt with, but I'm not even going to give that thought any thought. So, yeah, that's just uh, my announcement, because I remember a couple months ago, I was sitting, I was sitting over there actually, and there was a very scared gentleman with a beard and hair. Back when I had hair, um, it's starting to come back, but uh, yeah, there was a very scared gentleman sitting there, thinking, "Oh my God, I need to think. This is this is freaked out, and you know, I was just like, I'm totally gonna die, and you know, I need to." repair things and stuff, get my affairs in order. And if I, got, if I could go back in time, I'd tell that guy, don't worry about it, you're gonna be fine. And there was a little voice that said, you're gonna be fine in those videos. But there was a very scared gentleman sitting over there behind me. And I made that video and I thought it was my last video. Uh, but now, it's become very clear um, through a, well, how I reacted during chemo, um, I reacted very well. Um, I followed the advice of my physicians, uh, nutritionalists, and uh, the research of my partner for uh, nutrition. She deserves a freaking medal. Um, and I think the stress of, the stress of it all um, was quelled with everyone's support and well wishes and the GoFundMe surpassed by many orders of magnitude um, what I thought it would be. Um, it's going to be a long recovery. Um, there are some little, little tiny issues that are completely uh, solvable and not a big deal that I need to uh, overcome. One being that my lungs are fried. Um, I need to go see a lung doctor and it's not recommended that I fly. I've looked it up. Don't fly. Don't scuba dive. I'm definitely not planning on scuba diving anytime soon. But I can't be any, in any kind of like negative air pressure or oxygen um, rich environments. So flying is out of the ordinary. Plus there's a lot of stuff I want to do here and just kind of take it easy. I get out of breath. I'm really out of shape. I gained weight and I want to focus on growing that beard and getting my eyebrows back and eyelashes and stuff. So anyway, I followed the advice of my physician. Zzz. I had a team of them. I was uh, treated very well at uh, Royal Jubilee Hospital 
cancer clinic, cancer center in uh, Victoria, BC. Um, I recommend that place. Um, all the nurses, um, there's about three Michelles there. They're all, you know, it's three Michelles, so if you call one, they all come. Uh, Michelle, you know, all these people, uh, Jane, she was in the video on my personal channel. Um, she really helped me. Even the receptionist, um, you know, they, they, knew be, they knew me by name, things like that. My oncologist, uh, Dr. Rao, um, gifted oncologist, gentle energy. Um, who else? Uh, Dr. Kinahan, interesting fellow, but excellent doctor nonetheless. And uh, Dr. Dr. Lorenzo, the most important, one of the most important physicians because he saw something that didn't really look right and instead of messing around with antibiotics, he got me in to see a specialist within 12 hours. So hats off to him, which I already did. I'm not going to take my hand off again because I'm embarrassed. <sighs> hats off to him. And the news hit me, it's, it's, it's barely been 24 hours, and it's still a shock. And there's such a thing as life after cancer, and you're just like, what do I do now? Because, you know, everything was very rigidly planned. You know, you had surgery, you know, bi-monthly blood tests. And then in the chemo phase of things, there was, you know, you're here five days a week, you get your other thing every Monday. Things are very cycled. They ask you about your bowel movements. You go down the list. Everything's very structured. Come here at this time, da 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 da. But now, I'm like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. You know, it's like I'm not worried about hydration. I'm not worried about my electrolytes. I'm not worried about my kidney function, my liver function. And I'm not worried about those two tumor markers that have been the plague of my life. Not the plague, whatever the word is. The the, the concern of my life for the last six months, those numbers have never been this low. And now they are low, they're out of my life, hopefully forever, which is a, a really good feeling. But there are, there are some, uh, some side effects. Um, uh, exertion, um, I get out of breath, my lungs are toasty, um, but that might improve in the next year, so I get tired. And, uh, you know, the hair. Hair's coming back. I'm not too worried about the hair, the beard. I look like whatever, but, you know, who cares? Um, what else is there? Brain damage. Yeah, chemo brain. It's a thing. Yeah. I, I lose track of thoughts. I can't think clearly. I get my lefts and rights mixed up. I enter a room I don't know where it is. It's like I'm, it's like I'm just, like, perma-baked. And I'm like, you know, like, where am I? I forget people's names, people's faces, um, what to do, multitasking. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know what I can do about that. Something to work on, but small price to pay for life. And I am, uh, I'm grateful for a uh, second chance. This is day zero and the wind is blowing and uh, it's kind of shitty outside. It's raining, wind's blowing, it's cold. But uh, it's one of those one of those great gifts, and uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, and uh, you know a lot of people will tell you that uh, they're grateful for the cancer diagnosis because it gave you perspective, and I think it gave me perspective. And uh, in a weird way, I'm kind of happy that it happened because uh, you ain't seen nothing yet, and I'm gonna take a little bit of time to rehabilitate like my my thumbs still have those lines on those each one of those white lines is a treatment you know it's still it's still affected it's still affecting my body i'm gonna get it out of my system live clean not gonna drink um because you know osteoporosis and stuff like that definitely not smoking cigarettes not smoking anything just like the the craziest thing i'll do is i'll have a strong coffee and that's what I'm doing right now, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give back and uh, accomplish the things that I want to accomplish. And uh, I'm not gonna die at age 31. I'm gonna die when I'm fucking ready, when I'm 90, when I'm 98, in a in a hail of bullets. I'm gonna rob a bank at 91 or 98, whatever number I said. Anyway, this video is a 
is a big uh, thank you. Um, I want to thank a few people. A few people I've thanked already. Uh, my medical team, greatest medical team in the world. If you're going to get cancer, get cancer in Victoria. Holy crap, best, best cancer agency in the world. And uh, everyone says that. Great nurses, great staff. They take the time, they, they, they know your name, they remember you, um, and they root for you. And just the overall positivity, always smiling, lifted me up when I was, you know, fatigued and not doing that well. And I, I wanted to die a couple times, it was so bad, but it lifted me up. I want to thank my mom for uh, putting her life on hold to uh, take care of her son and deal with him kind of laying in bed for three months in his underwear. And uh, my partner for dealing with my my uh, my dexamethasone rage. <laughs> one of the drugs that gives you one of the drugs that give you kind of makes you a little bit grouchy. Uh, but she took it like a champ, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make it up to her. Um, uh, yeah, there's just a, a bunch of people I'm forgetting because chemo brain. Um, and all of you, the viewers. Uh, the people that watch my videos, I didn't know the impact that I had um, until everyone started coming out. And I made uh, an update yesterday. And uh, what, what is on Twitter? Like over over a thousand likes and people sending me messages and stuff like that. We're, I'm trying to do like a bit of business stuff and like the business emails are getting lost in the well-wishing emails and stuff like that. But anyway, thanks for uh, sticking by me and believing in me and I think uh, your thoughts and stuff um, helped helped a lot a um, couple other people off the top of my head um, Pee Wee Toms uh, who had a uh, had a vlog at the time of my diagnosis all the way up until my last treatment kinda weird but uh, he died the day I was finishing up my treatment of a very rare type of cancer. Um, a big uh, YouTuber. Um, and uh, rest in peace to him. And I thank him for uh, giving me courage. Um, just his positivity, you know, helped me uh, get through it. Um, the island of Galliano, where I reside. Um, thanks a lot for your support and well wishes, you know, um, I've only been a member of the community here for three years or whatever uh, But uh, you know, they really took care of their own um, Everyone's asking me how I was and uh, you know right now I'm doing pretty good What else do I need to do? What else do I need to say? Yeah, just a, a series of Things have happened in the last six months. It's hard to believe it's only been six months, but uh, I'm done with it. It's a, it's a clean, it's a clean wipe. You know those clean wipes, and you're just like, that was a clean wipe. I don't even need to do anything else. I'm good to go for the rest of the day. That's what I want this to be. Anyway, I enjoy, I enjoy things. Enjoy making videos. I'm gonna make a whole lot more, and you're gonna see the hair grow back. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You didn't really learn much, but I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the update. We'll be back with regularly scheduled programming. Um, I have a personal vlog, which is in the description for those that wanna watch more of the journey behind the scenes, things like that. Uh, we have an album coming out. We have a whole bunch of stuff planned. Uh, we made a lot of plans. We weren't... They say make plans, and we made plans. And uh, our plans are in full swing, actually. We're working on our plans right now. Anyway, guys. Thank you. Take care, and have a good one.